everyone, my name is Jenny. For today's video, we are going to be doing a cooking vlog. And the title of this cooking vlog is Mixture Chef. So I am going to be your Mixture Chef for today. Today, we are going to be making Pancit Canton because it is easy to cook. But before we start cooking, let me put on my apron. Now we're all set, let's start cooking! But before we start cooking, these are the ingredients that we need to make the pancit canton. First thing we need is the pancit canton. The next thing we need is the special seasonings of the pancit canton. We also need plate, fork, and spoon. And lastly, we need pot to boil the water. So the first step is open your bag of pancit canton and we have our pancit canton. But make sure you wash your hands before opening it or touching the pancit canton because you don't want germs in it. So let's go on to the next step. Okay, so now we have our water. We are going to boil it. And the next step is put your noodles in the hot water for 3 minutes. So we are going to get our timer and time 3 minutes. And make a bit slowly. Oops. 3 minutes is now. There we go. Now, because we're done and 3 minutes has ended, let's get this pancit canton out of the hot water. And now we are going to pour the hot water. Let's go. Did you guys know that pouring out the hot water and separating the hot water from the noodles is an example of filtration? What is filtration? Filtration is separating the solid from the liquid. Why is pouring out the hot water and separating the hot water and the noodles an example of filtration? It's an example of filtration because noodles is an example of solid, while hot water is an example of liquid. You separate the noodles and the hot water by pouring out the hot water. So that's why it's an example of filtration. Why is filtration important? Filtration is used to separate particles and fluid in a suspension where the fluid can be a liquid, a gas, or a supercritical fluid. Depending on the application, either one or both of the components may be isolated. Filtration is also important and widely used as one of the unit operations of chemical engineering. What are the benefits of filtration? The benefits of filtration is number one. Through this, we can have a clean and filtered drinking water. Number two, this is used also to separate the solid particles from the liquid. Number three, we can also filter the water that have waste before letting it out from factories or buildings for us to not be harmed or poisoned. Number four, we use this separation to process a supply of salt for us or transform the salt water into a fresh water form. Number five, by doing this, we can create or make medicines through getting the nutrient from a substance. Now, let's transfer the pancit canton in this bigger bowl. is not uniform. Heterogeneous mixtures consist of physically different substances or phases. The three phases or states of matter are gas, liquid, and solid. 
Pancit Canton is a heterogeneous mixture because you can see two or more substances. The substances that you could visibly see in Pancit Canton are Pancit Canton and the special seasonings of Pancit Canton. Why are heterogeneous mixtures important? Heterogeneous mixtures are important because they are found all around and are used by humans every day. Heterogeneous mixtures are important because it helps us form new things and it keeps us alive. The forming of new things can make changes in the improving generation and such invention will make life easier. Did you guys know that this special seasoning of Pancit Canton is an example of homogeneous mixture? What is a homogeneous mixture? Homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is uniform. This special seasoning of Pancit Canton is an example of homogeneous mixture because you can only see one visible substance. In science, the most common use of homogeneous is to classify materials. Mixtures, substances, and solutions can have different characteristics and their homogeneity gives clues about how they will behave. This is one of the most important scientific uses of the term. Homogeneous mixtures are important because we use them every single day in our daily life. Without homogeneous mixtures, we are not able to have things like orange juice, coffee, go, this special seasoning, and a lot more. This is what a homogeneous mixture looks like. As you can see, you can only see one visible substance. And this is an example of a heterogeneous mixture. This is a heterogeneous mixture because you can see two substances, which are the noodles and the special seasonings. Homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures are important because we use them every single day in our daily life. Without them, we are not able to have these things. Most of the things we have today are homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. So now we are going to eat this, of course. <laughs> okay, let's eat the pancit canton and we are going to taste test it. So um, it's currently one... Wait, cannot really see it. It's 1.44. Oh my god. It's almost 2, um, 2 a.m. right now and I'm filming this video. That's it for the video guys. I really hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!